Okay, my name is Akashi guys and in this video here we're going to be doing a tier list of every single Legends Limited and Ultra in the game Also including Shallot, but I don't have an image of Shallot even though it's not my fault Shout out Dingy though, he did produce a tier list for me including all of the new LS and Ultras in the game And we'll be tier listing them pre-anniversary Now what we're going to do so this video can be neatly organized We're going to do every single tier in order So we're going to start God tier only, then go down 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 all the way to at tier two that way the video can be neatly time stamped and you don't have to worry about everything and then we're going to look at another tier list after the anniversary and see if anything's changed or maybe at the end of the year shout out dingy for making the tier list for me hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video man if you haven't already make sure to press the subscribe button man we're on this grind to 50,000 subscribers i'm not going to hold you guys up any longer let's actually get into the video now okay so without a doubt i think naturally we're going to start with the ultras so we have four ultras that are running the game I don't think there needs to be a discussion about it. Uh, where, where are they though? There's gonna be a lot of looking for them. Rose, cool, that's two. Um, we're gonna try all of them as well. We're gonna try all of them as well. Chat, help me out as well. So this this involves you, chat. There's people in the live stream right now. Shout out the guys in the stream. Uh, you didn't know they were here, did you? But they're actually in the stream. Let me even put on the chat so you guys can see just them. See, W chat, W chat, look, they're there, they're there. Shout out the chat. All right, cool. I'm just starting with the gods here because I feel like there's no discussion for it uh where's where's uh kid boo there we go kid boo and we're missing my time skip is unbeatable he, uh, there he is okay so these four whatever order you like uh should i just sort them by bias because i want to glaze yep i like this sounds about right just just in the order maybe i would use them actually no i'm lying this would be the order i'd use them in depending on my stars uh, it doesn't really matter what order this is so i'm just gonna say for the video the only section that doesn't have an order would be the god tier section and then from here on it's going to be a lot serious it doesn't really matter about these but just order them how you want because these four any of them could be number one and i feel like that's a common understanding within the legends community if you wanted to have kid boo number one that's cool if you wanted to have hit number one that's cool if you wanted to have rose number one that's cool if i wanted to do it like this that would be cool it doesn't even matter so uh yeah let me just leave it like that so we're on section two now we're on the z plus tier now these are the people that are directly under the god tier members and I'm just going to drag some people up and then I think the chat's going to help me out because W chat, um, right? W chat. So um, I think I'll drag up 17. Uh, yeah, it's 17. I think I'll drag up the, the tag fours, of course. Beast Gohan. It's only LFs and Ultras, by the way. So there's probably someone screaming at me like, what? You know, looking for like pan or something. Uh, Low key rev sign low key I'll, I'll bring future gohan up how's this looking i think those are the only next contenders high key let me see if i've missed anybody here no do i want z plus tier usv z plus tier usv how is rev sign there and usv not there nah but not not z plus tier maybe i should drop rev sign because that's glazing future gohan is a good support um let me look around let me look around let me look around let me look around this guy's actually pretty solid there's chat saying evo but um i haven't seen this guy in like 500 plus games so you gotta think about that i've seen trunks and vegeta more than evo which is crazy to say i've seen mui more than evo but well, i'm not gonna say mui is better than evo but also it depends well, mui is weird case because it depends on the user it depends on the user i think this is fine for the z plus tier you know future gohan is the the biggest reach in this section but it's fine i think it's fine now let me order these guys. I'm gonna put 4Q, tag 4, whoa, whoa, whoa. 4Q, beast, tag 4, 17, future Gohan. I'm not changing that order. I like this order a lot. 4Q is the main GT guy. Beast is still beast. Tag 4 comes along with 4Q. 17 is everywhere and he's basically a better future Gohan. High key, low key, I don't know. But yeah, I think that's the Z plus tier done. Let's move on to the Z tier. Cool. We're moving to Z tier. We're going to drag some people up. So USV is where he comes in. Rev sign. Uh, let me think about who else is here. Who else is here? Purple Rose can go up. SSB is going up for sure. I think MUI should go up in this tier for sure. That was a good recommendation. Um, Rev Han. Uh, no. Trunks and Vegeta go up. Cool. Um, oh, I, I remember I have a screen right here. Um... Who else is here that should get more accolades? Boo Bros, I think they're going to be at the bottom of Z tier. At the bottom of Z tier. Like, they're going to be behind all of these. Ultra Broly? <sighs> Ultra Broly. Ultra Broly. Chat, help me out on that one. Chat, help me out on that one. Help me out on that one. 
just ultra broly i think nobody else can make this category but let me let me see ukb took him down no fair all right cool now let's make the order for these guys i think okay so hear me out with mui mui if you run into a mui user you're either gonna get demolished or you're gonna demolish them and there's no in between because his dodge mechanic is actually so silly in in tandem with um where's rev U, rev ui these two together it's wild it's actually wild these two together there's no in between so they're in a weird case of they could be s tier but could be z tier simply because of their dodge mechanic but would i say consistently they're better no rev sign i'm putting him over mui by the way if he's high stars mui is good but i think i'll put trunks and vegeta above both of them i'm gonna have to bring boo bros up and i'll bring boo bros above mui but not rev sign do i want to drop usv i don't think i do i don't think i do i think usv is a safe option here would i say usv should go up would you say chat help me out would you say usv is worse or better than future gohan what's your thoughts on that help me out on that while i think about this um i think this is nice uh put this one back ssbe is better than rose but i might see rose more often right more people would say usv is better worse one person said worse future goal future hunt more viable that is also true so it's an argument of how you see value in the meta so would you say i should move usv behind future gohan but in the same tier or maybe i should move future gohan down but in the same tier or maybe i should do this but in the same tier or maybe i should do this but in the same tier you know it could be either or future gohan's aging is nice it is nice mute future gohan down but i think i'm gonna keep future gohan above usv same tier as z plus z plus looks a bit empty so i'll just keep them up i think that's nice i'll keep future gohan in front but i feel like they're kind of the same thing besides from usv's offenses are slightly better and he doesn't support his team he does but indirectly so he actually debuffs the enemy but whereas future gohan buffs you which is actually more consistent and more valuable i'll leave it like that i'll leave them at z plus both of them but keep future gohan ahead um trunks and vegeta leading this category uh rev sign boo bros mui ssbe and then rose is there anybody else i want to add into z tier i think i will actually add cooler let me think about who's in the game right now there's gonna be a cooler fan in the back so distressed about me not having cooler in z tier they're gonna be so distressed about it so distressed about it. I'll, I'll put him in s tier but we'll, we'll talk about that in a sec i'm trying to think of anybody in z tier forget that cooler fan yeah this is looking good this is looking good i i know who i'm dragging up next but let's go to s tier now okay moving up to s tier we've done god tier z plus z tier so we're moving on to s tier now the people i'm gonna drag up straight away i already seen them i was i was i was hawking them i was hawking them hard as hell uh let me pull them up let me pull them up where they at where they at coach where the yeah coach where the yeah um um this section might be a little large you know i might move some people down but let me think about who's most valuable first i'm gonna make some movements but give me a sec i'm just thinking about it that one was a reach that one was a stupid reach i think without a doubt it's one of these three leading i know it's one of these four leading notice how they're all movies units isn't that crazy these four they're all movies units isn't that crazy sv is a reach too i looked at who's up here then i looked at who's down there it's crazy gb might even be a reach but then kid boo would he be a reach no gb behind um droids oof, another unit that should go up i think this might be the most packed him on his own is not good so I'm, but as a team with his loe goons he's all right um no apps i turned it on on purpose so they can so the, the video can see who i'm getting help from i'm looking at who's down here as much as i don't want to gas up jiren like he's not even that bad but he is all right let me just fix this order first i think out of these four units rev han is more valuable because his revival gives you what you need whereas these units they're just rush prone and in this day and age that's tough that's so tough no matter what you have it's so tough cool next i think i'm gonna go cooler just off lock-in 
then I will go Broly, then I'll go USG. Then if we're continuing, I'm gonna then tag in droids for... F I'll put droids... Oh, uh, this is nice. No, that looks nice. Pfft, I'm trying to figure out if I want to move them above USG. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I think I do. USG, that's tough. Oh, but I'm thinking about both their kits. So the green card here, no cover, cover nullification, tag switch, long combo. USG has only got the blue cards that deletes cards. He doesn't have any endurance or anything like that, but neither do these guys. But these guys can rush you. These guys can rush you. I'm keeping them above. I'm keeping them above because they can just rush you at any point. I might even put them above Broly. They can just rush you at any point. That's very valuable in this game. Low key, high key, actually. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. I'll leave it like that. I think that's it for S tier. Is there anybody else I want to think about? Anybody else down here that could m m make the S tier section? I'm looking at it like, hmm. I think that's it. I think that's it. And I feel like a lot of the, the decent units that are here, they're going to go A tier. Replace GB with Cell. Hell nah. Crazy. You must be out of your mind. Trunks over Kyle Ken is crazy. I don't think so at all. Two ultimates is way more valuable than Kyle Ken, who doesn't have any defenses, doesn't do any damage. I don't think so at all. That is not crazy. This Trunks here, two ultimates is actually valid. Forku is way more dangerous than Beast right now with his team, in my opinion. Or oh, and the G, the, let me say the value that he has on GT might actually clear the Beast value. Also, I feel like GT is way more complete right now over uh, movies because it's just Beast Gohan carrying Pan like on his back heavily. Okay, I'm gonna leave S tier like that. Maybe we'll come back to it because I feel like I'm 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 standing here for too long. I'm I'm here for too long. I feel like it's super super crazy, super super crazy. All right, we're moving to A tier. A tier is tough. Um, I'm gonna drag up some people. I already know who I'm dragging up. I think, and then we'll move from there. This this tier is gonna be a bit filled with a lot of people more than any other tier. Here we go. So this is gonna be a quite quite a stacked tier. I feel like I'm gonna start with Kyle Ken. I'm gonna start with Kyle Ken. I need help on this one. I'm not gonna lie. Let me look at who's here. Who's more valuable? Who who's more more usable? Who's gonna add more to their team? CMZ can cook. MV and VB up. Good eyes. Uh. Bardock is a, is a soul fire, so he's fighting all of these people who have somewhat of a team, which is tough for him. Full power freezer up. Whoa, did I drag Dragon Fist? Got too much chip on your dip there, buddy. Haha, <laughs> back in the line. Back to the gulag. Nope, not you. Oh my god. Let's continue, let's continue, let's continue. Um, <sighs> Margin Vegeta over CMZ. VB over CMZ? No. Blue Bros over VB? Yes. Cell over VB? No. Okay, let's let's go. Let's let's work. Let's work like from the back. Pause. So FSK over Bardock. In my opinion, yes. FSK or the Soda Hop Trunks? No. Stop there. Let's continue. Bardock over FSK. No. Stop there. Cool. Soda Hope Trunks over Vegeta. Yes. Soda Hope Trunks over Full Power Freezer. No. Let's continue. Full power freezer over SV. Ah, oh, this is stressing me out, man. Why? It's always the lower tiers that's harder to get very accurate. It's always the lower tiers to get very accurate. SV over G4. Main? No, I wouldn't agree because this guy's whole main ability is in this guy's green card. This guy's ultimate is a literal nuke as well, whereas this guy is tough. I I wouldn't agree with that. I'd say G4 in PvP. I'd rather use him over SV. Maybe that's just me. But yeah, the buff SV brings is crazy. His Z ability and Zenkai buff is way more valuable for sure. I agree with that. You're not wrong. For Z ability reasons, I can move him up. I think I should move Cell down. Green Vegeta better than Full Power Freezer. I can't see that. I don't even think he's better than Soul Hop Trunks. And then I think Full Power Freezer should go down. Z ability reasons, not VB though. This looks kind of nice. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. It looks pretty ugly, but it looks nice at the same time. It's like an ugly nice. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not, I don't. I think there's gonna be somebody upset with one of these decisions, but I think this is cool. This ain't too bad. I think at the end we'll finalize like the whole tier list. So we passed A tier now. Um, I think we should go to tier one and we'll come back and make any like critical decisions. 
tier one hot hours tier one hot hours um here's where dragon fist enters the conversation ui sign uh freezer as well broly eight piccolo namek goku and uh vegeta omega uh ultra goku can make the cut vegeta definitely making the cut if that's the case these three would be the worst in the game all right cool let's sort it so in my opinion i think i'm gonna put dragon fist at the top it's glazing if i don't even though i don't respect his kit and second i would probably go ape vegeta just off his endurance i feel like if you can hype up any of these guys ape vegeta is gonna cook even though nobody uses him next i would probably go broly or you no i go freezer because the loe merchants are crazy then i'd go ui sign then i'd go broly but then i have to think about piccolo as well which i think i'd actually move above these two because he actually gets his vanish back and can do stupid damage with his blue and zenkai buffers that are available in the game so i moved him above there we have to respect piccolo just a tiny bit um Namek goku above broly omega shenron can stay there vegeta and then goku any complaints about this one so far let me see let me see piccolo is not it you just haven't faced a good piccolo tempo used to use a crazy piccolo before ultra kid Buru came out i'm telling you the same way you can gas up all of these guys if anything piccolo can do work man with his blue card ui sign isn't it either but the dodge mechanic gives him more freedom you have to trust you have to trust namek goku actually i'll put namek above ui sign maybe broly too but mm. I'm taking UI over Broly every time, so I'm leaving it like that. I'm keeping it a ban. Keep this guy in for 8 seconds with his mono purple team. They all do bad damage, but I'm saying if I had to choose one to do more damage, I'm taking Piccolo. With the fact that he's a region member, Zenkai buffing Kid Boo, who's top 4. Who does this guy Zenkai buff in the top 4? Nobody. Let's, let's keep it a stack. 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 BFFR, bruh. I think I'm done with tier 1. That was actually way easier than A tier. A tier and S tier were the hardest tiers. Cool. Let's finish off. Let's finish off. Let's continue with the final tier. I've personally got Beerus better than Goten and Super Saiyan 3 because he can block main abilities, which is very, very detrimental in this day and age. Then I would actually have Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Then I would have Gold Tanks. Maybe only because this guy can be a Zenkai buffer for Purple Sun Fam. I think he busts movies as well, but don't correct me on that. But more so, this guy here, he's actually used it like, if I had to use both of them in PvP, I think I could do more with Super Saiyan 3 than Goten. However, if I ran hybrids, I could do more with Goten than Super Saiyan 3. So, we gotta think about it. I could really just flip a coin and it doesn't even matter. I'm taking Super Saiyan 3's main though. Goten is actually washed. Beerus blocking mains is valid though. So, uh, yeah. That's tier 2 complete. I think it was the shortest section to do. It was very easy to do. Uh... Let's actually finalize the whole tier list and check every single row. Okay, so after finishing the tier list, I've sat down with the chat and they've given me suggestions. And I feel like these were the biggest ones that stood out. So we're going to talk about them. Uh, there was a big discussion about um, Forku and Beast Gohan. I feel like me personally, the GT team is way more consistent just due to their healing. They have better defenses, whereas on the hybrid team with Beast Gohan, it's literally just Beast Gohan. Pan is a good support and don't get it twisted she's insane future gohan his longevity is insane but the other two units on that team are not doing damage whereas on gt we've got two damages and even then i've put beast over tag fours and not four q that's my reasoning for that not to say that beast is can't beat four q but if you come across a good gt team it's probably gonna outplay this team especially just due to the fact that they have a lot of healing switch factors cover change you know not to say the hybrids don't have that as well i just feel like gt's ones are better that's just me personally if you want to disagree i personally understand that cool next one we want to talk about is these two here usv and future gohan i feel like people feel like usv is probably going to do more damage and be more consistent but future gohan's longevity is very very high i can see these two being interchangeable but we're not doing that today so i'm going to stick with one and solidify my one with putting future gohan above because he ties in more well with beast gohan as a solid team that's for sure cool let's continue going into the z tier people complained about these two here so trunks and vegeta between rev sign and i feel like honestly i see a lot more rev signs nowadays which is fine so i actually agree with moving that one rev sign you can have some more respect it took you a while but hey you're around you're floating around 
Moving on, the next one we got here is SSBE and MUI. Individually, I could see SSBE being better, and I feel like regarding teams as well, more likely SSBE is probably better. But the MUI users I've been seeing flowing around are dangerous, but again, that might be my perception being screwed. So regardless of that, I'm going to actually move MUI down as per request. Cool. Moving forward to S tier, looking forward at these calibers here. Somebody complained about Super Goji and Broly. I feel like Broly at high stars has screwed my opinion a lot because I'm actually scared of Broly, Broly at like 12 stars. But then USG, I feel like it's just naturally going to be more consistent with his two ultimates, destroying cards and whatnot. He's going to be a bigger inconvenience. And if you get one ultimate off, you can just nullify endurance of 30 time accounts, given that nobody actually cancels it. But on top of that, he's just a better unit to actually have consistently doing damage. So for this take here, I'm actually going to move USG up as well. Going forward, people complained about Jiren and Gogeta Blue, saying that they don't deserve to be in the same tier as all of these guys. So I feel like it's very reasonable to move them down to A tier. And do I want to keep them above Kyle Ken? For sure. And I feel like I might want to move GB up, but I'm not going to because I feel like that's a lot of movement. Somebody complained about Trunks being over Kid Buu. I feel like Kid Buu's value is just better because of the Kid Buu over here in the regen section. Also, this guy has a plat. Trunks isn't bad, but he doesn't fit on any of the teams and doesn't have a cool spot anywhere. So I'm going to keep him there. But I would say that Trunks is better than all of these guys in the A tier. So I'm going to keep those two the same. Cool. Let's move down to A tier. What other complaints were made here? Somebody complained about Full Power Freezer and Vegeta. This is definitely one I'm going to swap because Vegeta actually Zenkai buffs one of the top one uh, units in the game. So Vegeta's Zenkai buff actually helps Goku Black. So I'm going to do that full power freezer swap there as well. And I'm also going to actually move that up one more now that I thought about that. Two more actually. The Zenkai buff is actually quite wild. Three more actually because he's actually a big help to Goku Black. Not just simply because he can be a good unit. But I feel like any of these units, go Vegeta and going back, can actually just be good if you want to really use them. But at the same time, this guy is actually a, more of an attribute to one of the most prominent units in the game. So his value is just more naturally. That's I think that's a good change. Next, going into tier one, eight Vegeta versus Dragon Fist. Naturally, endurance. I think that's all I need to say against Dragon Fist. So we're moving him up. That's fine. I think everybody can agree with that. And I don't think there's anything else that needs to be said. Going down to tier 2, we had a Beerus versus Super Saiyan 3. Now, I put Beerus at number 1 within tier 2 simply because he blocks your main ability. And I feel like that's more threatening than anything these two can do. But Super Saiyan 3 as an actual unit can probably be more valuable. But again, these two both Zenkai buff Goku Black who is one of the most prominent units in the game. So it's not a debate in that section. So really and truly, to get this guy's main to be good, you also have to wait a long time. So even if you think this is actually going to be the better choice, really and truly, nobody's going to use any of these units. So I'm going to think about it in reg before my camera cut out. I just wanted to solidify my take with the fact that Beerus' Z ability is offenses, whereas this guy's is defenses. And I feel like the defenses aren't necessary when there's a Zenkai buff already happening. So I'm taking Beerus and keeping him above Super Saiyan 3 just due to his buffs helping Goku Black. I think that's everything in regarding corrections to the tier list and this would make the final tier list. Just a question somebody might ask, if I had to play Shallot in here because I feel like Shallot is the newest thing that we've got, where would I put Shallot? Now Shallot wouldn't class anywhere in the top four and I already mentioned at the start of the video these four can be any order so I didn't think about it at all. I just placed them in, in order of who I'd like using the most. That's personal bias. Why well, I kind of messed it up because it'd be like this. But yeah. Um... I think Shallot would be at the within the Z plus tier. So maybe one above Future Gohan or maybe one above 17. Or depending on how you want to view it, he could be Z tier. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because Shallot can have multiple transformations. So he can be useful for multiple different things. I wouldn't put him above the Tag Force though. I feel like that's pushing it. So he would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He'd be between eight... So between 8, he'd be between 8 and 12, 100%. Between 8 and 12, anywhere between those sections would be fine. He'd be in the top class of Z tier or just at the bottom class of Z plus tier. Any of those places would be fine. If it's me personally, I'd put him above Future Gohan. I'd keep him behind 17 just to be safe. 
but I could see him being above 17 as well because his damage is just nutty in Super Saiyan 3, but he also has an endurance layer. So that's just my take on that if you wanted to know where Charlotte would place on the tier list. But yeah, I think that's everything to conclude. This is the tier list. This is the top four interchangeable. The rest I wouldn't interchange. And I think it's pretty solid because we considered everything step by step. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, man. This video was a bit stressful to make. But always tier lists are stressful to make. But it's always fun to make tier lists. Game is game. Let me know what you guys think about the tier list. I'm happy with it. Let me know if you're happy about it, what you changed. We went through back and forth with the help of the chat. The beautiful and lovely chat that I have here. Zenobi to the moon. But yeah, press the subscribe button. We're on this grand to 50,000 subscribers. All my social media links are down below. Follow me on Twitter, especially join the Discord for the anniversary. It's going to help you out. Appreciate you guys for watching. My name is Akashi, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one, man.